every school has a purpose. And you can determine that what that purpose is from going into that school for a few hours or a few weeks. And uh, a, a dear friend and colleague of mine once said that one of the best ways to understand the purpose of a school is to look at how they allocate time, space, people, and resources. I have visited quite a few schools in a lot of states and with others, and we've asked the principal, what's the purpose of the school? And they would say, what do you mean? It's a school. Well, actually, you can read the school. You can figure out what it is. It has a purpose, even though the principal can't articulate what it is. It might have the purpose of being a very, very traditional school. It might be a very innovative school. It might be a dual immersion school. It might be an inner city school. It might be a rural school. It might be a suburban, a, a suburban school. But this question of what it's trying to be, is it trying to have student voice and student choice? Is it trying to do rote stand, uh, standardized test prep? These are different purposes for schools. What's yours? The school's purpose lives out everywhere in the school, and just going through the halls, you can tell. Do the students own the walls? Is it, is it covered with their own work, or is that not allowed? Um, or can students uh, go to the bathroom when they need to go to the bathroom, or do they have to curtsy to go to the bathroom and ask permission? Do you have a public address system which interrupts everything that's going on, or is there quiet, calmer place? Uh, do teachers work in teams, or do they work individually? There's so many different ways to read the intent of the people who are in the school and running the school. I think the purpose is the first thing you want to address in defining what your narrative is, because there's a reason that you're deciding to create a school. You don't just do it out of thin air. So what's the reason that you want to do that? And in my own case, um, having worked in a 350-year-old school, I was really interested in doing some things that were very, very, very different. And so uh, I was not alone in that. I was working with a team of people. We had traveled the country. We had visited schools in lots and lots of states. And we realized it's, it's not just what you put in, it's what you don't let in. It's what you don't allow in that's the creation of a school. So our purpose was to do certain things, but to not do other things. And we were very intentional about that. I think it's a good thing to watch out for when you're starting a, a new school is that you are going to replicate uh, a, a traditional school just because what most people are doing is they're remembering the school that they went to when they were a child and they're kind of envisioning that that's what schools do. Now, a lot of us don't do that uh, and most of the people who take a course like this are probably not doing that. But that's the big risk, I think, mostly, is to just say, oh, but this is what schools are supposed to be. Well, don't think about what schools are supposed to be. Think about what you want them to be and, and really let go. This is like an inventorium here. That's what this course is about. This, this is a place where you're, it's virtual and you can play with it and you can feel it out and you've got others among us who are taking the course and they're doing the same thing. You're going to learn some things from them. They're going to learn some things from you. So enter this course with a, with a bit of a plan and also, of course, with an open mind.